Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to build a simple dashboard in Python. Building a dashboard is a very important skill if you plan to work in the field of data science or data visualization. We would be exploring a, a framework called Dash which helps us to build beautiful dashboards. This framework is based on the React library but we don't have to worry about uh, any JavaScript uh, framework. All that we need to do is be familiar with Python and we can start already start building uh, beautiful dashboards. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can get started by building a very simple application. So let us first get started by installing the Dash library. So I am on the home page of the Dash library and on this page under the installation link, you can find the instructions to install this library. So as you see, the you, uh, to install this library, all that you need to do is execute this command pip install dash and this is the version number that we will be using for our application. Now let us explore the data, data set that we would be using to build this application. So the data set that I have downloaded is from the Kaggle website and I am using this data set called World Marathons Major. And uh, you can also download this data set, I think you would have to sign in and then it's uh, very easy to download this data set. Let us explore this data set in depth. So I have already downloaded this data set and out here I am printing the first five rows of this data set. Now let us explore the columns in this data set. So we have the year in which the marathon took place, the winner that is the name of the person who won this marathon, uh, the gender of the person, the country which the person represents, and the time this person took to finish the marathon and the marathon column represents where the marathon took place in that specific year so for instance in the year 2018 this person uh, who was from Kenya won the marathon and this person took 2 hours 5 minutes and 30 seconds to finish the race and the marathon took place in Tokyo so now uh, let us get started by uh, by coding, uh, coding a simple application so the very first step is to import all the necessary libraries to build this application. So in this case I have, inst I have imported the dash library, the dash core components library, the dash html components and some dependencies like in input and output. Uh, we need these depend dependencies for the reactivity in our application and I will be explaining why we need, uh, I will be explaining how we can use these dependencies in a couple of minutes. I have also I have also uh, imported the express library, uh, the express package from the Plotly library and this makes our work very easy to build beautiful charts or bar plots. I would be using the pandas library to load the data set and I have also imported the date time library to do some string manipulation for our dates. So the very first step is to create, to create an instance of our dash application. So I have created a variable called app and this, case, this is initialized as dash dot dash and uh, it takes it takes a link to a style sheet so you can create your own style sheet or you can use the one that uh, you see on this line on, on line 17 and to, to start your application you all that you need to do is to app dot run server in your main so now let us see uh, some functionalities that we need to build this application so the very first functionality we need is to a uh, functionality to load our data set so I have created a function called get data and in this function I am using the pandas library to load our data set. So I am I'm reading the CSV file and I am converting, uh, converting this to a uh, pandas data frame. The next step that I need to do is I need to convert the dates uh, to a date time object. So I have created a functionality called convert to time. This takes in the time as a, as a string and this converts it into a date time object using this functionality called date time, uh, date time dot time. Once I, ha I have these steps, I will create a variable called df that is nothing but data frame and I will call this function get data, which will return the data set in the pandas data frame format. The most important component of a dash application is a layout layer. So the very first thing that we need to do is create a layout. Layout is nothing but a UI layer or a view element. So in our case, we need a HTML div layer and this takes in a, children, a child. So in, in, uh, a child is nothing but a list of array elements. And in this case, 
we have uh, initially I have created a, 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 a h1 element with uh, which which takes in as an uh, as an input the name of the header. In this case, we I have uh, I have denoted the title to be World Marathon Analysis, and every element also uh, consists of a style element so you can if you are familiar with uh, any if you are familiar with css or bootstrap you will be familiar with uh, how to style your html elements all of these uh, you can find the information uh, for, for for styling your elements in the documentation of dash let us now continue by building by sp splitting our uh, our screen into two parts. So we have two children. In this case, I'm using a library called dash split pane, which splits our screen into two parts. The first part is nothing but a child element, uh, which which is called settings. And on the left side, I also have a drop down menu, which you can use, which you can create by using this functionality called DCC dot drop down. And every element also needs to consist of an ID. So in this case, the drop down menu is represented by an ID called drop, drop down menu and it also in, uh, consists of some other parameters like options value and style the next part the on the right side of our screen we have another another element which is uh, nothing but a dcc dot graph element this is uh, this is the graph that we will be plotting uh, and whenever the drop down menu changes the graph should change that is the whole purpose of building this dashboard so now let, let let me explain to you why uh, these two dependencies that I had explained input and output. So I have created a functionality called update output div, and this takes a decorator function called app dot callback, and it has an input element and an output element. The input is nothing but the drop down menu out here. It is so I have represent represented the drop down menu with the ID called drop down menu out here. And I, have, I am also representing the output that is nothing but the graph view, and this graph view has an ID called input graph, and this is exactly what I'm I'm representing out here in the output component. And this functionality is will be executed whenever the drop down menu value is changed. So as soon as the drop down value is changed, this functionality will be called, and then I'm just filtering out the year in which the ma the marathon took place, and I'm plotting, I'm I'm making a bar plot. Uh, where the x-axis represents the time that is the num uh, the time the person took to finish the marathon and the y-axis represents the country so this is a uh, very simple uh, three-step process to building a framework we need the uh, layout layer we need some additional functionalities to manipulate our data set and we need a callback functionality to uh, bring reactivity to our application so let us now see how this uh, dashboard looks like. So if you go, if you once you start the application, you can go on localhost 8050 and you can always change the port number out here. So I have the year selected as 2018 and for this year I have the time out here and the country out here. Now all that you do, need to do is you, you can change the year. So for instance, I can change the year to 2015 and my chart is, has changed out here. So now in this case, I have uh, Kenya and Ethiopia and uh, the winner in this case is Ke the person who won the marathon is Kenya who took 2 hours and 4 minutes. Let us now explore another uh, year. So let us see what happened in 1994. So in 1994, all these countries, these are the first 5 winners in our, uh, in, in our marathon race. And the one who took the who was the quickest took two hours and seven minutes and fifteen seconds to win the race. And in that case, it was uh, Kenya. Portugal took two hours eight minutes. Uh, Mexico took two hours also took two hours eight minutes and fifty three seconds. Brazil took two hours and eleven, 11 minutes. Germany took two hours twenty one minutes, and United States took two hours and thirty one minutes. So as you see, it is very it is very simple to build this dashboard. All that you need to do is connect the layout uh, with the callback, and you have a, a reactive uh, dashboard. I hope you like this video, and if you have any questions, you can always post it in the comments.